go to college now. The doubleheader on ESPN tonight. The first game, 4 o'clock Pacific. Louisville takes on Syracuse on the road. Louisville 4, 141 the total. Total Syracuse on the bubble. So they can probably, I hope they, they can punch their ticket with a big win here. They had a 5-0 and straight up an ATS run that came to an end with the bad loss against Pitt, Teddy. Was fatigue an issue in that game? Uh, it's it's going to be an issue for Syracuse. Uh, I mean, in each of the previous three wins, Syracuse trailed by nine or more in the second half and rallied to steal those victories. They trailed by seven. They trailed by seven in the second half on Saturday, and they just didn't have anything in the tank, nothing in the tank. And you look at the workload for Tyler Lydon, Andrew White, John Gillen, all right? It's insane. <laughs> I mean, White left the court for two minutes in a 18-point loss at Notre Dame on January 21st. Lydon left the court for the final minute in a 19-point loss at North Carolina on January 16th. You know, and then there's Tyus Battle. He's played at least 33 minutes in each of the last nine games. Uh, he only played 16 on Saturday, uh, but that's because he was sick. He's not 100%. I know the quick turnaround helps him. And, of course, with all of these guys playing all of these minutes, they only have one day off to prepare for those Louisville presses. This is not a great spot for a Syracuse team that's being priced like all the bubble teams are going to be priced from here on out, Polly, must win, must win for Syracuse. And, and you see the numbers consistently either higher or lower than they should be uh, because of that must win status. You cannot handicap human emotion. I know uh, Bayheim was emotional because the news broke after the game Saturday. Fab Mello passed away at 26 years old over the weekend. There's got to be some, I'm sure, an emotional tribute before the game. Uh, what do you what do you think what do you make of that? In terms of what it means to the Syracuse community, I'm sure it's devastating. But to In the team, what yeah. well, to to the, the, no, no doubt the community. Yes, I don't know yeah. how it affects this particular team though. Players on the floor, I don't think it affects them one bit. You know, it's not like Fab Mello was in practice every day. It's not like these kids know necessarily who he was uh, for the Syracuse program. Uh, you know, the Orange fans know who he was, but in terms of for tonight's game. I, I can't imagine having nothing that I can discern say the point spread should be adjusted because uh, of that tragedy. No, nope, I'm with you on that one. Now Louisville had the win at home Saturday against Miami. They get Quentin Snyder back, and then they were up. They were down ten in that game, Teddy, before coming back. Yeah, they trailed early. It took them a little while to get going, uh, and you know maybe freshness was key. You know we talk about Syracuse not being fresh. Snyder was fresh. I mean they were still down. They were down with seven and a half left uh, by three and had a big. A closeout uh, uh, against the Hurricanes, you know. And remember, so you have Snyder playing for the first time since January 14th. You have Dangadell and uh, Mankog Mathang suspended, didn't play at Virginia last Monday, so they got a full rare week off inside a conference play. And they didn't start versus Miami. That may have been part of the reason for that early deficit. They still took control in the second half with all those guys on the floor and with relatively fresh legs. Rick Pitino, quote, 90 to 95% of teams lose this game. They don't win this game. They totally outplayed us. They were the better basketball team tonight, but we showed incredible character to win this game, and I am real, real proud uh, of this team. And you wonder now if that Snyder injury ends up being a bonus for this team down the stretch. Hurt them, obviously, when he was out. But now, we're talking about an elite point guard with fresh legs down the stretch. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.